Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. In this video presentation, I will demonstrate to you how to insert and uh, make changes to the design and layout of a table. So take note that when we talk about table, it is composed of rows and columns or normally called grid of cells. So every square or rectangle that you see in a table is called a cell. Now, there are five ways for you to insert a table. It's either using uh, or hovering of your mouse over the squares. You insert or you select the insert table. You use the draw table. You can have the Excel spreadsheet and the quick tables. Let me demonstrate each of these uh, ways to insert a table okay the first one is this one insert hover how many rows and columns would you like your table to have so you say for example that one take note that whenever you insert a table or when your cursor is in the table the design and layout tab appears we will go into the details of these two tabs uh, afterwards okay the other one is insert table insert table here you can type the exact number of columns and number of rows that you would like to use say for example 6 by 10 rows you can set the behavior if you want to like uh, for example, fix column width or auto fit to contents or auto fit to window. Click OK. Then there you have the table. The other one is insert table, draw table. But this is very difficult if you are not familiar with it. Say, for example, I'll draw this one. I'll have a column on this. So that's how to use the draw table. Next is insert table Excel spreadsheet. Okay, you can insert an Excel as an object using this one or directly having this. Okay, take note that the ribbon for excel appears and then you start typing your data here so that it will be converted as table in your document say for example we have this i'll click on any part of the document then there you have your uh, excel worksheet so you can adjust this one by the way depending on the uh, data sets that you have say for example i want this only so once i have adjusted this one i'll click on this so those are the columns and rows that will only appear in your document the last one is using your quick tables there are built-in tables available here say for example you would like to create a calendar okay or you would like to insert uh, a tabular list for this one and then you just need to edit the content of the table so those are uh, the possible ways to insert a table now let me demonstrate the use of the design tab and the layout tab okay first under the design tab you can change the layout of your active table say for example i will click on this and then select the built-in uh, format that we have here there are a lot of uh, designs that you can choose from so you just need to scroll and select the best for you. 
say for example I would like this table so there you go you have already the table style now what if you don't like some portion of the style say for example from second row to the last row I will change the shading so I will highlight it and then change the shading say for example I will use this color so you have this uh, format moreover you can also set the border style let me highlight the entire table and then say for example I will select this border style if you don't like the border style you can choose from this and then to where will you apply the border style that you have created or you can change the, co the color of the border if you want to I'll click on this and then say for example that I would like only to apply it to the outside border okay so that's it now what if I would like to have a different border inside the table so I will select another border style say for example this one and then click on this I will have inside borders so we have the table now let us proceed to the layout under layout you can set the properties of your table like the alignment the alignment can be best seen say for example the center if you don't maximize the entire uh, margin settings or you can set the row the column and cell uh, properties you can also set the text wrapping say for example you have a paragraph and you would like to wrap around the paragraph the table that you are creating so you can do so with this option around click ok if you are done now you can draw the table draw more table or uh, other columns or rows that you would like to include you can erase a portion of the table now let me highlight for example this one and click delete will i delete the entire the selected cells the entire column the row or the entire table so if i selected these cells only then i can have the delete cells if i will choose delete column this entire column will be deleted let us try this one so one column has been removed i'll just undo it if I will have this highlighted and click delete rows there will be two rows to be deleted okay now we can insert uh, either row or column if you insert above it means that a new row will be inserted above this cursor now let us try typing some values to see how the insert works okay now say for example For example, we have these colleges, and then okay. Now, say for example that I would like to insert a new row in between CAS and CTE. So I'll I may position my cursor here and click insert above. If my cursor is positioned here and click insert below, uh a blank cell will be a blank row will be inserted below that 
the row where the cursor is. Okay? Say, for example, I would like to insert a new column in between name and the year level first year then I'll position my I may position my cursor here in any of this part insert left okay say for example uh, campus so there you go we have this portion now Let's proceed to merge cell. Say, for example, I will highlight these cells. And you notice that the merge cells become, becomes active. So I'll click on this. The merge cells will now merge the selected cells into one. So there's only one cell here. Let me just press Ctrl E to show you that there's already one cell for this. Okay, that's for merge cells. What's the purpose of a split cell? Say, for example, I would like this to be divided into two columns. One for male, one for female. Okay, then I can just have split cells. Number of columns, two. Click OK. Now, if I would like the entire area here, from first year to fourth year to have split cells I can do so I'll just click on this take note the number of columns will become 8 if you want to add more you can do so say for example number of columns 8 now I have those new columns uh, created okay so I will insert a new row above this one now, what is a split table? A split table means dividing the current table into two. Say, for example, my cursor is placed here in this row. I'll click split table. Then you have a new table created. There will be two tables created. Okay, that's split table. Let me just undo it to return to the normal uh, layout so I'll just delete this row so you have this content now you can adjust column column widths and row height say for example I would like to adjust this width to one then I'll just have this one or I would like to adjust this into 0.85 I can type it enter okay so distribute columns if you want to what is the purpose of distribute columns say for example I'll highlight this one and click on distribute columns the size of these two columns will be equal okay so that's the purpose of distribute columns the same as true with rows say for example that i made this row a little uh, higher or bigger then if i selected the cells and click distribute rows the row height will be distributed that's the purpose of that okay now we also have the alignments. Alignments here have nine options. You can have the align top left and so on and so forth. Let me show this one by uh, adjusting this one. I will highlight this one. And then we have align left, align uh, center, align top right, align ta center left, align center okay and so on and so forth okay so that's the alignment we can also have text direction say for example there are a lot of columns in your table and you need to save spaces for your column width 
uh, let us try this campus I'll change the direction you notice that the direction has been changed okay adjust and then perhaps adjust the column width here distribute okay and distribute also this one so that's how to format uh, or adjust your format or layout of the table okay you can also sort the content say for example i would like to sort the colleges sort will i be using column one since i only selected one column then i'll just use column one okay so the colleges were sorted you can convert this table to text if we can convert text to table we can also convert a table into text let us try this one but i will undo it afterwards convert to text using tabs click ok then you have this uh, output Control z i will undo i don't like the layout to be changed we can have formula if we want to say for example i'll have some values here and at the bottom i'll click on the formula and you can see that there is an initial formula or function given to you if this is what you want then click ok so what happens click ok take note that whenever you change the values of your data set that the value to where the formula has been placed will not change automatically so what you need to do is click on the value right click update field so you notice that the value has been updated there are other way other formulas that you can use say for example you can i i will remove this one and i'll select here say for example average and type average above if i want to if you are familiar with the cell name of your table then you can do so say for example uh one two three this is on the third row one two three this is on the uh third column also so meaning to say the third column is c and the third row is three c three two c three four five six seven eight nine ten c10 okay click ok then it will give you the average so that's how to use the formula in your layout tab i hope you learned something from this presentation uh, thank you for watching god bless everyone